Good evening, everyone. Thank you for joining us tonight. Now that the legislative session is over, we wanted to know what big items were left unfinished and what the future holds for the new legislative body. Channel 8's Ariana Martinez joins us now with a recap and forecast of what to expect next session. Ariana. The legislative body said goodbye to at least 13 senators who are not returning next session. Big things were passed this session, such as the tax cuts, funds for a lake and a canal, and money to expand medical and law enforcement professions in our state. But senators didn't have time to work on every item. One thing that made this session so different was figuring out how to spend more than a billion of American Rescue Plan Act funds. Part of that ARPA funding also was $100 million allocated for shovel-ready projects across the entire state. Even though Governor Pete Ricketts didn't get everything he wanted this session, he was pleased with the end result. I have just one word for this session and this body. Wow. Wow. What fantastic work you have done in this short 60-day session. This was a 60 day session that I would have swore was 90 days for all the stuff that we got done. Even with a short session, some big things got passed. The big projects, the lakes, the canal, those are huge. What Nebraska can only be Nebraska if we have plenty of water. While other hot topic items like the new state penitentiary didn't make much progress. And while you didn't give us the authorization to move forward, you have set aside the money. And a future legislature will either have to replace the Nebraska State Penitentiary or I believe invest millions more in updating an antiquated facility. Leaving big decisions up to the next legislative body. We have to do criminal justice reform. That was probably the one large item uh, that was left on the table and it will come back probably in bits and pieces uh, so that we can get uh, many bites at the apple instead of one large bite at the apple. I think that's going to go hand in hand with building the new prison. The fate on these items depends heavily on who will fill the vacant seats, as the new legislative body will have a good amount of new faces. It'll be more than 13 uh, because you have several members out there running for other offices, so there could be some more appointments in addition to that. So it'll be a, a fairly large class, and once we get past the primary, we'll know a lot more about where everything's headed. Now don't forget primary elections are May 10th and if a senator representing your district is leaving, you will have the power to vote for who may take their seat.